Hi guys, we all have come across two people who actually weigh the same but look very different from a structural point of view. This is simply because they have different body composition. So what exactly is body composition? Body composition is nothing but the percentage of different components that our body is made of. So we have four main components that our body is made of, which is the water percentage, the muscle percentage, the bone percentage and the fat percentage. So this is the fat mass and the other three, which is the water, bone and muscles, they make up the fat free mass. So now let's understand a little more. The water percentage can get fluctuating due to various reasons. It can be due to external or internal factors. So we do have uh, the temperature or humidity or the pressure that can that can have an influence over the water weight. Or it can also be the kind of foods that we have eaten, the hormones, the stress, all of this can also affect our water percentage. The muscle percentage is something that we really need to work on and it's healthy to have healthy muscle percentage. And this can also be influenced by the kind of foods that we eat, by including a lot of protein and healthy foods. And of course, doing a lot of um, the strength training and the right kind of exercises which will enhance our muscle health. And having a good muscle percentage is good for us in the long term. And that builds on our stamina, we feel fitter, uh, we have better endurance and that's very good for us. Now the third part which is the bone percentage is again an accumulated percentage over years based on how our childhood was, what kind of foods that we ate and how, uh, the, how sporty we were or what kind of sports we played. All of these contribute towards our uh, bone percentage and this percentage should not be reduced you know because um, sometimes we may do a lot of fat diets or diets that, uh, that is devoid of certain nutrients which can result in irreversible damage to our bones and so it is important that we don't uh, work around with our bone health and make sure we're eating healthy irrespective of whatever diet we're following to make sure that we're giving bone healthy foods because this is very important to have a very healthy future. Now the fourth part which is the fat percentage is what we all have to worry about. So having a bit, having a higher fat percentage definitely gives rise to a lot of medical conditions, lifestyle disorders. So it is very important for us to work on reducing our fat percentage. It's very uh, important to keep it at least between 15 to 25% so that we at least are in a healthier range. Right, and uh, having uh, less than this also can be damaging because we do need, you know, good amount of fat percentage for various functions in the body and to protect our body as well. So if you are into sports and athletics, then it is a different uh, percentage altogether. But for a healthy person, it's important to be within this range. Now, how do we gauge this? Yes, you can gauge this by the kind of uh, inch loss that we see, how our clothes fit better and how light we feel. All of these are good indicators that we are losing out on our fat percentage. Of course, we can get it tested in various clinics and gyms, but just to keep it very simple, you can test it just by using an inch tape and measuring the inch loss. And it is very important for us to see a difference in the fat percentage and not lose out on the other three. So when what we see on the scale can be a reflection of all these percentages. So just because we see a spike in our weight does not mean it is a fat. So it's very important for us to understand that weight that we are seeing on the scale is just a reflection of all these components. And so it is very, very important for us to not get worked up by the number on the scale. Of course, it's important for us to be within the healthy weight range, but it's also important for us to have a healthy body composition. So let's focus on a good body composition and stay healthy and happy always. Thank you.